So, Hedwig the Owl from Harry Potter. You can't say this isn't a lovely little bit of kit. Good fun to put together. A lot of small pieces, 600 plus on this. Um, a lot of fiddly ones like these quarter circles. You know, the, the flashes that you put on just for a smooth finish. They're quite fiddly. I must have put about 10 or 15 on those wrong way round. Had to ping them off again. Um, surprising amount of colours. A lot of them hidden, as they always are. That's the joy that I get from Lego. These bright pink, blue and green. I think, well, where are they going to go? Where they go right in the middle? Where you perhaps don't even need them. Um, the appeal for this, for me, was to uh, <clears throat> see what the movement was. Where was it going to be at the tips, the mid, all of the wing? If I just turn this and tilt it down slightly, no, I'm not, you can't say that isn't effective. That is really quite good. I like that. Something different from a Lego kit and not that expensive either. Again, it's to see how the engineering works. If I tilt it up underneath, as you're building it, you know it's going to have some gearing in it and see how that feeds out from the stand to the body, out to the wings. It's really interesting and it would be for adults or kids to do it. I think so. Nice little stand. It's compact, only four stickers just for this little envelope part and the head wig at the bottom. A couple of minifigures that you've seen in the video. So yeah, a little bit of movement on the head. It looks the best, doesn't it? So, head with the owl. Yeah, another recommended one. You know, a pretty good value, I think, for the build time and the fiddly parts and seeing how it all comes together with that bit of geared movement. Yeah, it's well worth the money, wherever you get it from. So, off we fly. On to the next model. Catch up soon. Come on. Back to bed. <laughs>